Hi YouTube viewers, this is a tutorial on how to put PSP Breaker on your PSP for FTB2 SOCOM with Navy SEAL. Hi guys, you will be need needing a PSP with a USB cable. So, as you guys can see, you will also be needing you will also be needing custom firmware. As you guys can see, I am running on 3.90 and 3.3. Alright guys. You guys will need to download this file on PSP Breaker 15. It carries the files you will be needing. So you, all right, I'll give you guys. I'll provide the link for you guys somewhere around here. Go to more info. You'll get the description, and everything you will need to get it. You'll open the C, C plugins file. You'll be needing to go into USB mode. As you can see. I'm going to USB mode. So you go to USB mode. You gotta let that thing, whatever you have, pop up. Whatever icon you have. And remember, I am not responsible for any break the PSP or anything. This is on your own risk only. Alright guys? I am not responsible. Alright. There there goes my the PSP. Alright guys. Which alright. You will do. You will need to do. What you need to do is open up the PSP. Uh, all right, there you go. So back. Open up the folder. What you will need to do is, as you can see right here, I have the C plugins files. You just drag it up into your memory stick. Drag it. So as you can see, it's loading. All right, you gotta wait. It's doing all the things it needs to do. All right, for most of you guys, you guys will have your night PR and all that stuff. So what you do is you open up your C plugins, and technically, you'll you'll do is. Drag everything else you had in your OC plugins, put them together, merge the files, and alright. For most of you guys, you guys do not know how to start up your PRX or all your other files so they can come out in your C plugins. So, what you need to do is put C plugins in your memory card. Alright. Um. If you guys have Night PR installed in your C plugins already, all you do need all you need to do is open up your game text file. Open up the text file. And if you already had the PRX in there, all you do is copy the MSO C plugins PSP breaker dot PRX into your text files. So uh, that's all you do. You don't need to copy the game text file over again. So if you already had one, just copy this little text right here and paste it. And you must have these two right here, PSP breaker text and the PRX, so it can work. So what I have done is taken everything out. I took my hacks off. All right, you don't need hacks for this. Well, if you don't want to, you don't need hacks. All right, guys. This is what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I'm gonna get out. And show you guys how to restart your PSP. Right, you gotta hold up the, the the power button up for like five seconds. All right, guys, five seconds. All right, and what you do next is you hold R R trigger right here. You hold the, you hold the R trigger, and you reboot your PSP. And then you should come out. You go down to the fifth one, which is plugins. You open it up, and you see right there your Night PR and your PSP Breaker, right? You enable it. And next, you will exit and get out. And then 
you go into your game mode if you have hacks and I'll be showing you guys how to change your PSP breaker I'm guessing there's, there is already videos on how, how to do that if you guys want I'll show you guys how to do that but this is just how to install PSP breaker onto your PSP so I'm guessing you guys already know how to change it if you guys for, for you guys who do not know how to change it change it is are operated some codes that you have to have it's called animation what you do is press triangle on the bracket current enemy you go to the last zero on the second line the second address code alright guys oh hold up what do you know technical problems All right I'll be back with you guys hold up Alright guys, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. And there is one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys. You will not be able to see your own animation moving unless there's another hacker in the room with animation. Alright, so it's normal. But your animation will change. And the only way, yeah, there has to be another hacker. And the best way to see your animations is in the lobby. Okay? And if you're alone and trying to see your own animations, what you can do is press select and you'll see your animations change. Alright, these are the codes you will be needing. I will show you right now. Well, I, w well, I was gone for a while, so I put it, I installed my, P my, my PR again. Alright, uh, hold up. If you guys can't really see this though, it says animation right there. You go to the first one right here, bracket current animation. I'm so sorry for moving my camera way too much. Alright, I'm logging in into the game. Alright. Let's find some empty room with see we find some little chat room around here. Usually hackers in chat rooms. So let's see if I find any. Alright guys, it seems that I cannot find any hackers. Well uh, this is just join oh it's a locker room. Alright, let's join the simple one right here. Alright, my current animation is my name right now, so I don't want you guys to see. Alright. To change your animation, you go to bracket current enemy, right guys? Press triangle on it. All right. You'll see two edges codes. All right. This one right here. And the other one right here. See the last zero right there? This one right here? Last one? Is the one you change. Change it to either one through nine, right guys? To change your animations. It depends how many animations you guys have. So what you do? Turn the code on. Turn your codes on. And press select, and my the, cha the name will change. I have my anti symbols, so it's kind of hard for you guys for you guys to see it. Alright, All right, you guys will see it. Say hello. You you guys cannot see it moving because there's not another hacker in the room. Alright, alright, right there it says the SWAT double seven nine one one. That's the name of my clan. Let me show you another simple one. Right there, you see, you see it change right there. You guys can't see it moving though, because there's not another hacker in the room with animation. All right, if I press select, it changes again. So that's how you see your animation. Select, and you see your animation, right? All right, guys. So that's how you see your animation. So there's not another hacker in the room. Yeah, press select. And you see your animation moving. Can't see it great though, unless there's another hacker in the room. So thank you guys for watching. SWAT the Bull 7 JP. Please subscribe to me somewhere around here. And uh if you guys want me to make any videos that will help you, please tell me. Alright. Thank you for watching.